If I say the Czech Republic to you, you'll think of Prague. The old town square, the astronomical clock, Wenzelser Square, the museums, the vibrant nightlife. But for years we've been helping students study at medical schools all across this country. So let's go to the main train station and catch a train down to Olomouc, to Palatska University, to go to tomorrow's graduation for the students we worked with six years ago. Let's do it. Now, public transport in the Czech Republic is really efficient and cheap, especially if you're used to the UK. Oh, by the way, it is one of my favorite train stations in the world, I do have to say. So as I said, it's really efficient, really cheap. We're heading to Olomouc on the Pendolino high-speed train. First class, this cost us about, what, 20 pounds, 25 pounds? Two hours, comfortable. Wi-Fi. It also includes a bottle of champagne as well. We've just got to get to uh, platform four, which is just down here. Well, that's it. Two hour journey from Prague. Just arrived in Olomouc. I'm really tired, so uh, I think to get ready for tomorrow's graduation, uh, I think I'll find the apartment and go straight to bed. Now most people only know of the astronomical clock in Prague, but there are a few in the Czech Republic and my favourite one is the one in Olomouc here. Now depending on who you read, it can date its history back to the early 1400s, 1419, although the first mention of it in historical record is about 100 years later in 1519. But it's been modified so many times, in fact the version now was built in 1955 after the previous one was damaged by the Nazis in World War II, built in a socialist realist style to appreciate the political discourse at the time in the country. And this is right in the centre of Olomouc, the town centre where all the bars, the restaurants, the post office, including the uh, UNESCO World Heritage sites like the Holy Trinity Column. And this is really where you start if you're in Olomouc and from here there's all different pathways to different parts of the town, to the main train station, but we're heading this way and let's head now to the Faculty of Medicine. Now you can probably hear the running water next to me and all around Olomouc town centre you've got these fountains on every single side of the astronomical clock that we've just seen. Now why are they here? They're not here just for decoration although they do look fabulous and stunning now. Before the days of uh, Maine's water this was how water was stored in the town centre in case there was a fire in any of these ornate buildings. So it was actually planned in case of any fire, there was access to water for the firefighters at the time to be able to foot the fires out and protect the beautiful architecture that makes up the centre of Olomouc. Now we're coming up to the military hospital where the actual graduation is going to take place. It's an ornate building, I'll show you in a moment. But because the number of students we have here, there's actually two ceremonies, one at 10, one at 11.30. So we'll get the chance to meet our students who are attending both of those ceremonies. But as you'll see, this is a truly impressive venue for a university graduation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you can follow 
following his footsteps, you ain't going to go far wrong. Right, I've made it onto the stage with uh, Khalil, yes. who is, uh, again, hasn't changed in six years, except he's now a doctor. So, and their proud family members are here as well. Do you remember coming here? Of course, we come right here. And I remember with the London, you come for the interview. Yes. I to a hotel, we have been there, that is six years ago. Hello. Long journey has gone very fast. I'm proud of these people, kindness, community, and people with the future. Yeah. The long, they are standing on their legs and they're serving people. Yeah, of course, obviously, Palatsky University has an entrance exam for admission, and we run the entrance exams in London, we sometimes run them in Manchester, but we also run them in Hong Kong and some other places as well. And that was six years ago now, and every single year we have more and more people applying, taking the exam to come to study in this amazing town, beautiful place. So we've got two bosses. I was graduated today, and someone else graduated two years yep. ago, but decided to stay in the Czech Republic to live here. Yep. I decided to live here, start working here. Yeah. Well, you, with a scenery like this, you can't blame her, really. But proud family here. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. It's been a great day. Oh, no, you're welcome. But as I said, we've had this now. That's the second graduating ceremony we've been to today, because obviously the hall is a bit small. But we're heading to the faculty now for some uh, yes. smoothing, drinks, nibbles. Uh, drinks and some cakes. Perfect. Yeah. Let's head over to it. Well, that's the end of the actual graduation ceremony at the military hospital here. Fantastic to see the students we worked with six years ago, their parents, as well as students who are still at the university we worked with more recently. And then great to see some of our graduates from the years before who've actually returned to see their friends and colleagues graduate. So it's time to head to the actual medical school now because there's a reception there with some uh, food, some drink, get the chance to meet some more of the staff, some more of the students. So let's head off. It's about half an hour walk in this beautiful town of Olomote. Let's do it. So we're just arriving at the medical school now, the faculty. This is the old building, the other side. On the, the other side of this, it's brand new and glistening. But let's head into this one because I quite like this old, grander, scale type medical school. Let's go in and let's go and find all of this year's graduates and all of our colleagues who've been working with for the last six years to get them to this stage. It's time to leave Olomouc now, leave Palatsky University behind and be back here in September for the next enrolment. But it was certainly fantastic to see the students we worked with six years ago and many of those who graduated in the years before and the existing students that are here now. If you fancy studying at Palatsky University and becoming a good doctor or dentist, get in contact with Medical Doorway. The link is in the description below. Get our full free of charge support and sit our entrance exams in London or Hong Kong and perhaps we'll see you at an enrolment next year or the year after.